have uh, tweeted in the past about supporting defund the pol- the police, which is uh, something that uh, I think perhaps some people in the Black Lives Matter movement support, but also this tweet from back in 2015. (laughs) The KKK, the police, and government officials are one in the same. Wow. I I wonder, do you stand by that comment? Mm. Absolutely, and thank you for having me. Um, I want us to understand the history of policing in this country. And so Twitter doesn't allow you to give a whole history of policing in this country, but in a few sentences, we can just confirm that there is no historian that I've ever come in uh, contact with who disputes the fact that policing in this country hails from slave catching. And so when we say that policing is, you know, the new millennial slave catching. We're not saying that we don't want public safety. I'm sorry. Police are for criminals. Slave Let's remember catching. that. Policing uh, uh, is derived like from what, slave catching. What is catching. the other option here? No police? <laughs> That's not we either going police I'm not or we're going lie. no police. This is the most. I don't see the other option. That's pretty this ridiculous. You think that? Batman. What's the alternative to uphold law and order? Batman. If we don't have police. We can just get Batman to come and save us all. And when <laughs> he hears a crime, He'll go. He'll go. Stop. Be funding the police. We're gonna put, no, this, we gonna put a light in the, in the sky. We'll have the light in the sky. <laughs> when something's this happening. Is, this is absolutely crazy. Or Spider Man will his, send his senses and he'll come save you. This is crazy. This work. is more a threat to democracy. Literally. So like, policing so- is derived from slave catching. Well, they say that because I, I did see the like in in slave times. I have seen this before. In slave times, that was the police. But obviously, we're not in slave times anymore. No, I definitely like some the of the badge, stuff you said. The badge the is like the same badge at the beginning, but it's not in, in slave times. She was right. Bro, and that whatever when mm. what year did slavery in? But when that that's when she became wrong. There's some good and bad cops, but man, there's we good gotta, and bad everything. We gotta realize at this point. It doesn't matter about if you pillows. do something stupid, you're going. You need the police to put you. That's in the thing, though. That's the thing, though. Bar. What so, are you going to do if somebody comes and try to your, rob right. a house? Your feelings are telling you to. You can't have no guns police. too. Oh, you can't have no guns. But you know, anti gun. How you going to be anti gun and anti police? That doesn't make any sense. There's no logic behind it. <laughs> yeah. We just in a, a world of we'll expression. We're just all be nice to each other. Yeah, we gonna just give each and other good gonna energy. Be good. Yeah, bro. <laughs> we'll use our crystals. Story in that I've ever come in contact with who disputes the fact that policing in this country hails from slave catching. And so when we say that policing is, you know, the new millennial slave catching, we're not saying that we don't want public safety. We're saying we want real public safety where community is really centered, where black safety is centered. And we know that when black people are safe, we also create safety for everyone else. Uh, Dr. West, <laughs> you talked about your campaign what? being about abolishing police brutality, so, that's who that is. poverty, and so, so, that's his name. So yeah. she want a whole new, like, okay, so she just want a new she police system. Cops. She want robot cops. She want robot cops. She want a new police system. I, I just think what she what says is so victim me. She want a, that was she want a police shady. system that's, that's not the, the police system. That's the she most ultimate robots. victim shit I've ever so heard. So she want private security. I don't know, but she wants robot cops. I don't understand what she thinks. She doesn't want white males to be better And I don't, like, she said, if black people are safe, we're all, how about we just all be safe? Literally. <laughs> I'm trying Literally. to hear. I'm really trying to hear her out because, like, well, no, what's the better alternative? Zero points. Once no, you I'm say defund the police, zero I points hear made. nothing you say. I will not take anything you say serious. I'm not taking I'm not her serious, but I'm trying to see, like, with the, with the, what's, zero what's another made. way? It's not there another no way. way. You got Batman or Spider Man. Yeah. Those are the Robots only ways. Or regular men in America being police. Or Spider Man, Batman. Yeah. So, like, okay. Yeah. Bro. So then that's what I'm saying, though. It's really nothing she can say. Yeah, bro. She's just wasting Like, how you can't hear her out? You how is she even out. getting to talk on here? <laughs> the CNN. I mean, They'll right, let anybody you know. on here for real. No, she believes in get on CNN. She was an independent vice presidential candidate. Well, nobody's voting for her ass. Hell no. Never in a million years. So she said no guns. She didn't say that. But But you know she's for no guns if you're... She's in LA. She's a hard leftist. It's pretty sure she's She's independent, actually. But her her policies sound... uh, Her policy no sounds police. fucking preposterous, is what it sounds. So is the police people supposed to police each other? Wait, 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 wait. I see wait, that wait, would make wait, more wait, sense. Wait. She is Shut supposed up, to be. <laughs> so so she, she, she's supposed to be. If if Cornel West was the president, she would be his VP. Is what's going on here? 
Because it says joint oh, interview God, of West cooked. Abdullah presidential ticket. So she's a Y'all potential vice me? president and he's running for president. We need so to run. If this is the VP, Let's run. I can only imagine what he's going to say. <laughs> oh, he's about buddy. to say something ridiculous. Unity is really centered where black safety is centered. And we know that when black people are safe, we also create safety black for safety everyone else. Black safety is centered. Uh, Dr. West, you <laughs> talked about your campaign being bullshit. about abolishing no, police literally. brutality, <laughs> poverty, and homelessness. Can you be specific? What are the policies behind those pretty big, lofty ideas? Well, one is that, you see, abolition is the fundamental theme of the black freedom movement that embraces poor and working people across the board. Abolition of slavery. Sure. Abolition of Jim Crow. I want abolition of poverty. I want the abolition of homelessness. I want the abolition of workers not gaining access so want, to wages so that the, the larger is, context of policing has to do with, we got to make sure we don't have poor people, people in despair. We got to make sure the young children have quality education, health care, and living wage, and safe community. So it goes hand in hand in that regard. One. But it's that the, the ugly police brutality. And we just saw in Mississippi with Brother Jenkins and Brother Parker. Thank God for Malik Shabash and Brother Trent down there, the lawyers. What happened? down there. Gordon Peterson talks about this all the time. We talk about these these societies in the world and history. If you read and look at history, all these societies that tried to create some type of system that had an equality of outcome, that's where like no matter how hard he it's works fair. or he works, everyone gets the same result. And that never, ever, ever in the history of the world has worked. The only way to do it is to let people choose to either work hard or to not work hard. And it's not that simple. Obviously, other people, like, there's no perfect system. So some people have a better chance, yes, than others. But plenty of people with this, with a smaller chance who choose to not be a victim and to do their best with what they can, what they have and try to do the best for themselves. When he was but talking, equality of outcome is never, ever, ever, ever in the history of the world work. When he was talking, I thought, okay, so he wants Allison in the Wonderland. That's what I'm saying. That, that is literally like a, a, a fairy tale. <laughs> That's exactly land. what you want, we don't want no poor people. And then, we don't want no we, homeless people. Let's not peep how many times he said, we, we want this, and we want, and we want, and we want. You want a lot we, of shit. But we, hey, I got a point. How you gonna get at it? At this point, can he ask for it at, after seeing all this immigrant stuff? So, you know. <laughs> They had a whole bunch of time to get black folks right. Have they did it? Have the party that they've been voting for did it? Nope. I'm just so saying. So the party that they've been voting for basically shitting on everything is that it, they... Is, is he wrong for ass? I'm just hell saying. Yeah. Is yes. he wrong hell for ass? Yeah. Hell know, yeah. You see hell the immigrants yeah. getting all Bro, the All you gotta do, if, if you really care about black people so much, go and tell these people how they can take what they got and work hard and, and like we do and not feel bad for them and, and say, look, if you want to be successful in America, find something to be good at and be better than everyone else at it. And if you're Period. not, they still take care of you. Take care of you a little yeah, bit. Still in other countries, they're not gonna take care they of let you. Your ass starve. So if these other countries are having a hard time taking care of their home. I mean, I know we're rich. You know, we have a little bit more wealth than a lot of countries. No, we have one hundred percent more wealth than than ninety percent. Than a lot. So I could, but like it's still. I mean, I can see honestly though. We have a lot of tax dollars being used in a lot of different places. So maybe it is a way to solve homelessness. Or something no, like there's that. no way to solve that. But, but, but like, a lot of people, not like all oh, obviously, but a, a could, high percentage of homeless people are drug addicts. Yeah, and they chose to do that because they could be on Section Eight. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They already have a system in place, man. Uh, I just think like just listening to both of them, it just sounds ridiculous. Like, why can't comes. you just present your ideas without it being and the make police it are bad, obtainable? The police. Give us a solution. Rainbow right? land. Don't just say we don't want no poor people. Well, nobody wants and poor people. Want, but how how do you practically make see that happen? Times he said, and one more time, just for me. So that the, the larger is, context how? of policing has to do with we got to make sure we don't have poor people in despair. We got to make sure the young children have quality education health care and living wage and safe community so it goes hand in hand in that regard but it's the the ugly police brutality and we just uh, saw in mississippi with brother jenkins and brother parker thank bro. god for malik shabash and brother trent down there the yeah, lawyer. The so he thinks all those issues he 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 just named all stem from white like, people defunding the police and and yeah is that what he's saying i'm confused like does he think that 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 the current system in place for policing is not uh good enough to i just want someone to point goals? somewhere in history and show us a better y system y'all want me to call nine one one see how fast they come they go come they go take about 15 of them no they're not no that's they're not, not. not in oh okay so you want the drones flying around and come get your that's not a long time to, okay they might not take no, it won't be 15, 15 minutes, minutes here not here not, not here i won't say the name of the city we live in but not here 
All I can say I know is in the city of Oklahoma. You know, in Edmond, you know how long it takes the average response time? Police. Three minutes. I know, I'm just saying. Oh. Like, what's three what's minutes in Edmond. If you call the police in Edmond, Oklahoma, they are coming in three option. minutes exactly. on average. So that's what, There's no reason to talk about There's it. No other no other, other, no other There's options. no other option. Unless you put robots You have to look in history and show a better show a better system. If somebody can come to me and show me, look, these people, they did it like this, 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 and that, and this is what happened, and this is the end, I'll say, okay. But no one has done that. No one has shown me a better system. They just complain about the one we got. You know what's crazy? We actually defund the police. We see it in California. Mm. And when we see the stores getting robbed, mm. you can't even good, have a business. And they're letting and people out for big crimes. So like what you're supposed to do. And all the policies y'all want, got as police a business, officers leaving. As a business owner, who's supposed to protect my assets? Some people don't who's even want to be a police officer. Who's supposed to protect your house from not getting burned? In New York. I thought police officers was, they so the thing, duty is Usually, to protect property, right? And when we have a problem in since the world has been here, it's a solution to the problem. And it has to be a good solution to the problem. But less security in a place that we're trying to build, just does that sound even okay? Mm -mm. No. Unless you unless you come up with it. That's what I'm saying though. Like a, a lot of salu people a lot of things that people want to get solved, they have a solution. So maybe if it was, you know, some police drones flying around in the sky, robot <laughs> drones, maybe we can all right, we can hear that, brother. But defunding and that it just that just don't even sound like it's okay. We seen what's happening already. So like if you want say and you want to do all these things, have a solution. Had a robot built to the police and come show us. So we're like, hey, hey, this brother got something. You ain't got nothing for us, they brother. Want the, they want the Black Panther to come save them. <laughs> T'Challa. T'Challa. <laughs> Uh, R.I.P. <laughs> Charlie. I know it's not about this video, but they real life is letting illegals vote right now. No, I really hope that. Doesn't I saw happen. Elon. Elon I seen a video. About that. I, I really hope that doesn't. It's that a doesn't video. Make any sense. If, we, if that happens, then uh, democracy is lost. We, is. we already lost democracy. But they're trying to defund the police. Like these, see, but th these people are these freaking, are probably communists. These people like there's no way they fix their brain to actually believe that they have a shot at winning the presidency. Clearly, their yeah. policies don't. Y'all wasting not, all time. I feel like their policies are not thought up in mind to like support everyone. They're they keep, literally they wasting keep, their time. They keep tying their 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 uh their policies into like specifically about black people. Yeah. Like black people are what 13 percent of the population. If so you're the president, you, think, you gotta take care of everyone. You, you want you want you want to. Be in a position that controls 100% of the population, but all your policies are mentally in mind, specifically for 13% of the population. And you think you're going to win an election. And you think you're going to win an election in That's America. what I said. They're literally wasting 2024. their time. 2024. That's like, if I, if I, no, I, I play sports, you know? That's like, I'm not going to go somewhere and I just know there's absolutely zero shot. That I'm gonna win zero oh, yeah. at all. No, what facts. is the point? Yeah, what is the point? That's what y'all doing. Y'all literally wasting y'all and everybody else. They literally doing this shit oh, just to so? say they did. Yes. It. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I think so. 2024, 2024 presidential victory. Joe Biden. No, no, no. He has a shot. He has a shot. I'm talking about these two. Them. Okay. They are running for president. But, but not right now. Maybe yes, later. they are. <laughs> As of right That's now, what it says. It says Joint interview of West Abdullah presidential, presidential ticket. ticket. So they they think, think that they might win. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So I thought. <laughs> them two. The president and vice president. That's, that's who they're West. Okay, so, and that's something yeah, that whatever so Republican Abdullah. stuff is over with. So Democrat. You these are independents. In. They're yeah, independents. Oh, oh, okay. I'm tweaking. Okay. That's what like. They're wasting their time. They're wasting their time. Everyone's They're doing this so people will clap and say good job. They literally doing this to check something off the bucket list. But That's that, why I say he looks like Don King, bro. Joe Biden. Cornell West, this is how he looks, bro. He just looks like he finna sell Joe up Biden a fight. probably um, <laughs> agree with 95% of the shit they say, though. So. Nah, they Joe Biden ops. Why you think that? Because they're running against them. Well, yeah, they independent. They no, Joe, but the shit they saying might as well be Democrat. Yeah, yeah that's the shit they saying is, uh, might as well be stupid crack because that shit was nonsense. <laughs> Actually, what I, I said, though, though, I, that is, and that, this is why we've never even heard that they're running because not us. They nobody, might not nobody, get nobody, one they, vote. They literally well, their family TV, might vote for them and their friends. No, you know what they did? They, like they put people. this on TV to be like, look, you can vote for Trump or Joe Biden or you can vote for these stupid motherfuckers. But they know. If you like, if you value money. That's why they're wasting their time. Why are you? Why are you running? They just want to be seen. Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> so Why are you running? If you value money and ownership and having a uh, actually livable life, then you're gonna vote for fucking Donald Trump. If yeah. You, if you are an idiot and you don't do your own research and let other things sway your opinion, then you're not. I mean, at this point, it's literally that's just what it is. Like I was literally talking to my friend. He's like, well. 
Despite the, the things that Trump says about the economy, he's just a dickhead, so I don't like him. So, so you like Joe mm-hmm. Biden? I hate a Mexican That's dude. That's what I always... I was, I, was like, I was like, you're literally a pussy. The Mexican dude hated Trump, but he still... He hates Trump. He said Trump's racist. He's still going off on. He's racist, yeah. but his policies... He's like, I, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like hey, a dickhead, bro. Yeah. I can't get with him. Like, bro, you're literally a pussy. God, so, forget, so, God forbid sorry. what I said about so, Joe Biden 2024. Uh, oh, my God. So y'all. they rather... I just want to see somebody so that, point that's to like a better system. That's like having a butt, like an asshole for a coach and don't want him to be a coach knowing you're going to win the championship. No, you're going to win the championship. You know you're going to win the championship. But it's mean to me. That's what I'm analogy. You know what I mean. He's going to play for Nick Saban. He's going to chew you out. He's going to chew you out and be mean to you. Or you want to go play for fucking... Spongebob Anyone Squarepants <laughs> at the Weenie Hut Jr. That's yeah. an easy choice for me. Rainbow Lane. I'm going to take you to Allison. Okay, guys. Hey, y'all want to live in Weenie Hut Jr.? Or you want to go <laughs> to the Salty Spittoon? <laughs> Football showed us the way. It does.